Today I have a meeting with an international investment consultant, Natalia Sakalova. The guys that I'm working with are guys that are up, uh, <laughs> this wrong with this guy. A guy up five and a guy up seven on a big chunk turns into a lot of money. We're meeting at Tavern on the Green in Central Park. Natalia was born and raised in the former USSR. She was educated in the U.S. And she's here trying to raise financing for projects in Russia. There are very few U.S. investors who would accept the political risk of investing in Russia today. No matter how good the project is, if Putin decides that he's not going to allow money to leave the country, investors are going to shy away from it. If you don't keep the returns, it doesn't matter how great they are. In addition to the U.S., she started to go to the Middle East to raise money. She's accumulating a stable of investors, and uh, rather than invest in her projects, we may try to get her to invest in some of ours. What's up, Natalia? How are you? Hey. Great to see you. You as well. Natalia is in touch with an incredible amount of investable assets. She's very, very well connected. Well, I just came back from Russia, Ukraine, Turkey, going to California tomorrow. My universe is three blocks from 53rd and 5th, so... <laughs> she's got some projects that she's very excited about. She's got a pretty interesting project last night, and they're trying to go over it. It's just a tough environment to sell investments in Russia today. What project has you the most excited? Well, I think the very interesting one is the project that has to do with the casing head gas. And this is the equipment. So you can see it's very portable. You put it next to the oil well, and instead of all the gas being burned up, it's being condensated into the pipeline and then taken into either trucks or railroads, whatever is available, and you can sell it to the international market. So it's a byproduct of oil production, yeah. is that what it is? Oil companies have no use for it. Also, it's uh, reducing the emissions, making it a green project as well. So your technology is, is the conversion process? Uh, primarily, yes. Is yes. it cost effective? That equipment is not that expensive. It's about $20 million to you know, get it going, and the IRR would be about 20%. And if the government passed the law that it has to be done. Right. So the company has no way out of this, they just have to have somebody who can come in and do it. The projects that she's representing would ordinarily be appealing to everyone. The problem is there is zero investor appetite for financing Russian projects today. Now, so, so you've established a foothold in, in the Middle East? Middle East is a type of place you have to be there. I mean, it's not, you can just, you know, shoot the emails back and forth. Right. If you don't show up there in a couple of months, they forget about you. Do you, do you talk with these people about non-energy uh, investments, the Middle Eastern investors? Natalia is an incredible salesperson. If I could get her to introduce my products, I think she could raise a significant amount of money. But I mean, they're awash in cash, right? So they're looking for opportunities, places to put this money? Yeah. Are you you're close to, uh, you know, the folks that allocate that kind of, uh, mm -hmm. those kinds of assets? Yeah. That could be a place where we can work together. But we are more focusing about trying to get the money from them to invest in oil and gas projects. Right. Her love is energy projects in Russia. But there's a lot of talent there in Natalia, so we want to retool her and give her more investment tools to work with in uh, different parts of the world. And what, what do you have in mind? Alternative investments, non-real estate, non-energy. Equity funds? Hedge, hedge funds. I think that would work pretty well. Mm -hmm. I've okay. got to get you to sell my projects. You're relentless. <laughs> it's always great to see Natalia. She's dedicated, she's enthusiastic. She's an incredible salesperson. It was good to see you. Had a good great trip. You. And I'll Thank speak you. to you when you get back. Thanks. Okay, bye bye. I think I recruited her. She has a pretty large Rolodex of investors. If I could arm her and give her something to sell, I think she's going to knock it out of the park. Mm -hmm.